I've been with Blue Scope in the blast furnace for about nine months, coming up to nine months. Just learning the ropes and coming along nicely. So I was a machine operator, um, drove big dump trucks, front end loaders, stuff like that. So earthworks. Safety is a, a massive thing and it was a massive part of uh, my drive to come here to Blue Scope. Previous places where I'd worked, it wasn't as strict. So to come here in an environment where everyone's on the same page and has the same outlook on safety was a massive bonus for me. I guess the main change that we've seen here over the years is the technological improvements. At its core, it is still a, a physically demanding role, but we've, we've managed to eliminate a, a, a large part of the manual handling and the risk. We have mobile equipment, heavy equipment operating everywhere. Given the nature of that, it's a very safe place to work. We drill into the furnace with a tapping jack. Uh, we generally hit, well, we get sparks about 2.8 metres and then we generally get a bit, get metal at about 3 to 3.4. Drilling out is just a one man job that is controlled by a remote. The drill will slew in to a certain point, the bottom of the furnace. It will drill in to a certain point of roughly around 3.2, 3.3 metres. So drilling is trying to get the iron out of the furnace. If you don't open it the first time, you either go in with a wooden plug and that just builds the back pressure so then it burst open pretty much. If we have like a burnt off bar in there or it's not quite open we'll chuck a drill bar which is a solid bar and we just smash straight through there and try and get the iron out and then if all else fails we have to oxy the tap hold so that's just oxy pipe and that just burns away anything that's in there and the iron pours out. Yeah you've got to be big on safety so just make sure you're, you're switched on and just, just take your time in what you're doing. So yeah, we have a, you know, a woolen furnace coat, we have face shields, you know, the full shebang, glasses, enclosed leather boots and whatnot. That's just to provide that sort of last level of protection. There's always two operators on a floor at a time. We do timbering of the runners. The runners start from the end of the metal well, so we would just get the timbers, chuck them in the runners and we just poke around at the runners and just make sure that there's good flow with the iron heading down the runners. Yeah, just so it doesn't get blocked up and congested. We bring up our stock from the floor with the crane. We operate an excavator. We operate a dingo and a kanga, forklifts, bits of everything. Sending samples, taking samples. Also do inspection works outside of the furnace. It's part of our role. I just love the environment. I know that seems like a strange thing to say for the environment, but I love the noise, I love the flame, I love the hustle and bustle. So the training, uh, it's full on, it is. It's its a lot, um, there's so much to learn between gas, water, furnace top, stock house. Yeah, the initial training was great. I spent roughly around a week and a half downstairs just doing some uh, sort of formal inductions. But yeah, once that sort of week and a half was done on the computer, the first probably three months was learning to drill out, learning to timber. Priority was to really focus on the floor. Don't rush it, don't be too eager to come here and start hitting the ground running and thinking that you know everything straight away. It does take time. If you want to take it a little bit slower in learning, that's totally up to you. But if you're a fast learner, you'll just tick through them as quick as you will be. There's endless learning, so it's up to you. Trust the process and, and everything happens and it all comes together quite good. We do 12-hour shifts. We have a really good roster, so we get lots of time off, lots of time with our family. I get lots of time with my daughter, so that's great. Spending more time with my family, actually. I worked away doing seven on, seven off rosters, so I wasn't really home too much. So to come to a place where I can have a good consistent roster, know my days off in advance. We cross paths, so we do like a shift changeover, morning and night time. So we do, at the start or end of our 12 hour shift, we have a, the next crew come over. If someone's away or annual leave and we don't have uh, relief in our crew to cover it, someone from another crew will come over and, and cover that position. You have seen that, that, that change over time uh, to a more diverse work, workplace and that's something that we've actively pursued, particularly in recent years. The guys have been really welcoming, really, really lovely and really helpful. We've got a couple of ladies upstairs that both started down on the floor as well. So it's a growing place and the door's open for females. And so that's been a great thing to see because it does make for a, a more pleasant place to work. You know, it, it gives us you know, a strength in diversity. I mean, that's a phrase that you hear. But it's very true, you know, the, the more that people can bring to the table, the better it is for all of us. The people that um, we work with are really great. There's a lot, a lot of experience here. And unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of experience going. 
as we sort of transition over to number six. The perks are, this is I guess why I'm here, and a lot of new starters try and gain as much experience as we can before they go. But everyone's great, everyone's always willing to help as long as you have got ambitions to learn and, and want to come here and put your best foot forward every day. The number one thing here is the people. Yeah, that's what sort of gets you coming here. I moved here seven years ago and it's taken me seven years to get a foot in the door. I enjoy the job and I want to give it 100% because it's, you know, it's something where I want to see myself retire. Many of the people and the families in Wollongong have built their entire life out of the steel industry. There was an opportunity to join the company, so I took that opportunity and I've been here for 28 years. I never thought I'd be so interested in doing this type of work. Definitely coming from something that I've never worked at before, around a lot of heat. But yeah, it's been great. Let's give it a go, honestly. It's, it's good. In the Blue Scope as a whole, it's a great place to work. They're very safety driven. If you can get a foot in and, and work hard, you'll be set pretty much. <laughs>